one that you possibly don't know yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, inside Foxglove Covert, and you'll have to understand that when we first moved in there, it was, um, it had lain fallow for 20 years. So it was, I mean, it was a wilderness. Yeah. And it, it took us, using hand tools at the time, many, many months. In fact, it took us years to cut our way to certain parts of the reserve. But at the time, if you looked on an OS map or on the garrison map, mm -hmm. there was a dam showing. And it took us some time, it took us probably 18 months to actually find this dam because it was completely overgrown. And the water area that the dam contained had silted up and filled up completely and trees had grown on it. So to actually find this concrete dam took, took some doing. But we did find it, and subsequently we had it all cleaned out, dug out, we repaired the dam, it had a part of the middle section was broken, but we repaired it, and it's now quite a substantial lake there, which you'll see if you, if you go to visit. But the interesting thing about it is that the dam was built when Baden-Powell was told to build this garrison, because at the time, when he was told to build accommodation for 40,000 soldiers here, there was no wood, because all the wood had gone to the war effort, the First World War. And so what they had to do was they had to build the accommodation at the time all entirely from cement. And the one ingredient that they didn't have to help them to build all these, build the, all these blocks, all these buildings from cement was water. They had nowhere that they could tain, su contain sufficient water to build these barrack blocks. So what they did was, they, they ferried up here, they brought up here hundreds of trawlermen from Lowestroft and Great Yarmouth who had been forbidden from putting to sea because the, the German U-boats were lying off East Anglia yeah. and both those ports Lowestoft and Yarmouth had been closed and all these trawlermen were brought here to Catering and they are the people who built that dam they constructed that dam which then became a massive water catchment area and they then um, piped off water from that to the camp so that they could use that water to build the concrete barrack blocks and that dam still stands there today. It's over 100 years old now, and it's still there. And it's still the original dam with a little bit in the centre yeah. that's been patched up. But that's who built that dam, the trawlermen from the east, very east coast of East Anglia. Mm -hmm. And it's still there today. I'll get you into Yeah, because 